Niners were stunned when they stumbled no, no, on No, 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 dude. Yeah, it's this the, is... Yep, this the is the mystery. mystery. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Go yeah, ahead. we gotta let With him the know. title, I'm sorry. This is the mystery of 100K flushed away. I can hear a sports guy right now. 100. Oh, you're talking about signing uh, fucking yeah, Billy Bob yeah. for the Steelers <laughs> nice. this year? Yeah, nice. Cleaners were stunned when they stumbled upon a jackpot of $100 notes hidden inside a sanitary disposal unit of the toilets. Police then found another wad. Oh, man. You don't hear wad anymore. <clears throat> I know. It's a great word. Police then found another wad of $100 bills in a toilet block that appears to be flush, flush with, with money. money. The soggy stash was discovered in pipes in the Channel 9 building in 717 Burke Bork, Street. Bork Street. Bork Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, I've been to that street many times. Oh, geez. <laughs> Are we me talking about me, my code review? Or yeah, what are we me when I, about? yeah, exactly. When I mess up my pull request, uh, I'm leasing an apartment on Bork Street. <laughs> uh, Captain Bork is here. <laughs> Gonna need someone to fix my pull. <laughs> the soggy stash was discovered in pipes in the Channel 9 building in, the, in 717 Bork Street, where $100,000 was found hidden in a toilet bin. The toilets in the building were blocked, and a detective contacted a plumber to determine why. With the detective in attendance, the plumber located another wad of $100 notes as he cleared the obstruction. Police have CCTV footage of a man entering the building with two large bags. Once inside, he offloads the bundles of $100 bills into the sanitary bin before walking from the building five hours later. Detective Sergeant Mark McCann last week described the case as bizarre. Rumors circulated that the money was counterfeit and that the culprit disposed of the cash in panic after picking it up from an interstate courier at Southern Cross Station, but this could not be confirmed. Then, in 2014, the cleaner who found the $100,000 in the toilet was ordered that he can keep 80000 of the findings per court ruling. Whoa. Chamindu... Amar Singh came across the multiple $50 and $100 notes in a bin inside the disabled toilet cubicle when he was working as a cleaner at the network's Docklands building in 2011, he alerted his supervisor. Police never solved the case of the missing money. Charges were dropped against one man, Emerald Wynn. Yo, what? What a fucking name. Emerald Wynn? Yeah. Is that how you spell that? Is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, Vietnamese last name. Oh, okay. Wynn. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's Win. Yeah. Emerald Emerald Wynn. Wynn. That's that guy's born to play slots. He needs to play poker. Seriously. Yeah. No, Emerald Win. I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah. He's connecting emeralds and True. shit like yeah, that, yeah, dude. Yeah, you're right. Oh my right. god. Big time gambler. Yeah. The charges were dropped against Emerald Win after he said he had no memory of procuring or abandoning the money as he was drug affected. He just gets so fucked up. You wake up the next day. The police are like, you not only, you know, came up with a hundred grand last night in a bag, but you disposed of it. <laughs> You're like, oh, what? Why did you tell me the I first part? It was a movie. Why did you tell me the first part? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was this took place in Australia. So I'm kind of confused with some terminology here. Sanitary bin. That's a garbage bin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have so zero. This dude just walked into, but then he also flushed it down the toilet. Yes. So he did both. <clears throat> Got so, it. So I think the soggy stash is what tripped the cleaners because there was a clog. Right. Then they go digging. Okay. Then they end up going to the, the sanitary bin. Okay. So he walks in there with this massive bag of money. Two. Two massive bags of money. He walks in there, you know, kicks open the door to the bathroom and just starts one by one sticking them in the toilet and starts flushing them. No, wads. Yeah, wads. Yeah, yeah. So he's not dumping it into the toilet. Like, yeah, he's getting little rolls. And tossing them in, flushing them. He's like, wait, this is going to take forever. I should just throw this shit away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you do when you fucking yeah. come up with 100K. Yeah, exactly. And you're coked out of your mind. Yeah. Man, that should have been a character on Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. A dude who gets supremely fucked up and he's able to knock <laughs> yeah, yeah, off like yeah, a yeah. large piece of the pie. Yeah, like he the never... dude in Mortal Kombat. You know the guy that's just like fucking hammered all the time? What? He's like, is this like a newer character? He's a, he's a jovial, obese, drunken master of martial arts. I do not remember him from but, MK. Oh, you have talked about this. Because he pukes as like he... his finisher. Oh, yeah. okay. He's yeah, DLC? Yeah. What does that mean, DLC? Downloadable content. You got to oh, pay is for he? him. 
No, there's a there's a, there's a fucking old guy that's always boozing. Maybe this isn't Mortal Kombat. Maybe, maybe it's a different game. Are you just thinking about Jackie Chan's drunken master movie? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a different fighting game that I used to play on Xbox. Look that up. Old X. This is a this is a new case. <laughs> this is Cody's memento right now. <laughs> this is just the case of Cody's broken memory. No. It was like a homeless guy, he looked like. Me. And he was hammered. Search homeless hammered guy. <laughs> anyway, so this guy walks in. Yeah, that, that has to be it. Drunk. How did he get the money? So that's an interesting thing. Yeah, two bags of that amount to 100 Gs. Yeah. What if he was supremely fucked up? He went to the gas station to get some Zins or something. Okay. He's like standing outside of the gas station, like, you know, kind of like super fucked up, lost his friends, right? And here's He's the thing. There to get the, this drug dealer pulls up. Yeah. It's one of those classic like sitcom situations where the drug dealer thinks he's the guy that he's supposed to give the money to or uh, something like that. He's like, you're the guy? And he's like, no, I'm a fucking guy. Yeah. And the guy's like, great. Here's the money. Like I expect the product in an hour or something like that. He's yeah. Like, this is cool. Yeah. And the guy's like, he just thinks he's like an eccentric dude. So he's like, all right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Peace. The dude's holding the money. Yeah, maybe he, he looks in there. He realizes, oh, fuck, this is not Zen. It's like I'm in some serious shit or something like that. So he goes to a news building. <clears throat> yeah. Can we go Street View 717 Bork Street? <laughs> it's just fucking... <laughs> Like terminal errors. Yeah. <laughs> huh, weird. I searched Bork Street on Google Maps and it's not loading. I got a 404. The irony. <laughs> so this was in Melbourne? Yeah. Melbourne. He discovered in the Channel 9 building. So yeah, this is something a drunk guy would do. He'd be like, I got to go tell the news. I got to go tell people the good news. I, 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 I came up. I came up big time. I won the fucking lottery. I won the lottery. I got to tell people the news. All He's my Australian. friends got to know. I won the lottery. <laughs> you do it. I can't do an Aussie accent. You do. You can do that way better mate, than me. I won the lottery, mate. Yeah. Uh, mate. Go. Yeah. I came up. Hey, you 100 fucking. 100,000 cash. There you go. Bro, to walk into this Bro, building. Bro, didn't we do? didn't we do a fucking radio show when we were in Melbourne? We did. But I recognize this. No way. I no, I wasn't been here. there. No, it wasn't here. You being funny? I, I, something is jumping out at me. And as we all know here, I have a great memory. Yeah. No, no, it's not this. It was Channel 9. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. This was us. This was us. <laughs> we did this. <laughs> Just cut to some footage of us on Aussie we, TV. We did the show. We got the cash from the show. <laughs> We Can't did a fucking huge dude. <laughs> Love doing work in Australia. No, we did the show. We got paid. Yeah. Hundred grand. Yeah. That's yeah, how much right. you get paid for shows. Yeah. <laughs> we took that money in garbage bags. Because that's Cause how we're not it. taking we're not paying taxes on this shit. We're not taking this back through customs. Yeah. Cause you know the Australian dollar is worthless. So Yeah, exactly. That's why it was so heavy. Yeah. We gotta go spend it here, but we had to go do a radio show first. We said we can't be on camera with a hundred thousand dollars in cash in these bags. Let's put it in the trash. Put it in the trash. Discard it here for the time being. Yeah. Do the radio interview, and then by the time we got out, they had already found it. Case closed. It was us. Case closed. It was. 